Hello Dance Nuts and welcome to Dance Review Channel and as usual a special hello to new visitors um, I hope you click the subscribe button and become a regular viewer and also don't forget I always put an uh, index in the description so you can fast forward to any section of the review uh, for this review I'm reviewing the QSOL Armour Darts and these are quite a unique dart and um, what they are, they have a, a tungsten core and then they have a alloy sleeve which goes over the top of the tungsten core and it incorporates the stem in, in the sleeve so it's like a one piece it says on the front unique one piece barrel and shaft design um, it'll make more sense when I show you it properly but I've seen these a few months ago and um, what struck me most was the variety of colours in the uh, sleeves and in particular it had my favourite colour which was green so I was keen to get a set um, there's two colours in the box, I've got the green and amber brown and there's nine colours all together and there's also a soft tip version and the steel tip is 23 gram which is the total weight of the tungsten car, the sleeve and the flights and the little spring that goes inside so that's for the total weight and there's also a 21 gram version and I think the soft tip is 18 gram and the retail for $69.99 which is around about £55-56 um, you can get them from the QSOL website or you can get them from um, Amazon.co.uk and I think they're also on eBay as well and I don't know whether you can get the sleeves I didn't see them on the site but I pretty much guess that you probably can get them I probably just couldn't find them because it would be a little bit pointless if you can't buy replacement sleeves of course but that's basically it um, it's also very nicely packaged again from QSOL and you'll see that in a minute when I show you so let's check them out so the darts come in the cardboard box like I was showing you and on the front it just tells you a little bit about the design, great innovation in darts, unique one piece barrel and shaft design precision engineered slip off shafts, cross hole design unique design of air convection holes, changeable colour matte body shell and on the back of the box it just tells you all the colours you can get and inside you've got this aluminium case anodized red very nice looking uh, thing it's a thing with a lot of Asian brands that do make some nice packaging and QSOL have made some really nice things so far um, just open the lid okay, get it open there we go and when you open the lid you've got some spare springs some flight protectors and the nice neat touches they've got this little ribbon so you can pull out the items easy which is very helpful saves me having to get my fingers in like I normally do and then things go flying off and you've got the green and the amber brown in the aluminium shells and you've got two sets of flights green standard and the amber brown standard right then let's talk a little bit about the design of this and as you can see if you go from that part there it is very long obviously that's why it's got a very short part for the stem but this section screws off and inside you've got the tungsten insert or the tungsten body uh, QSOL BX01 not sure what that refers to and in there you've got the little spring now I'm not really sure why you need the spring because it will go on without it but um, I don't know, maybe it's meant to make it a little bit tighter I don't think it does anything else so as you can see this is just an aluminium body and it's got the holes going straight through it 
and like I said it incorporates the stem so I'll just screw that back on it does feel a little bit tighter when the spring's on actually so maybe that's what the spring is doing um, the nice thing about this is obviously you can have different coloured um, setups and if you're like a middle and a rear gripper maybe they might come out with different grip designs so you can have a different grip pattern on the shell so you can grip it there but I'm always going to be gripping that section as a front gripper so the grip itself won't make much difference to me and the only thing I can see might be a problem is the fact that it's aluminium all over here and you know what happens sometimes when you rub and hood a tang and you bend and snap it so my guess is you're going to have to be replacing the shells at some point but like I say I didn't see them on the site but I'm sure they probably will be selling them and also them holes you may dig into it with your dart but I don't think it's any worse than say a razor grip and your dart would have to be coming at quite an angle to hit it um, other than that it looks really cool and as a kind of person that I am that likes unique and different things this really appealed to me when I first seen it but apart from that it it got my favourite colour in green so I knew I had to have a set but I'll just have to see when I come to throw with them how it performs so as you can see it's just a straight barrel and it's just a basic ring grip on the tungsten part and then that continues up on the shell and there's a little bit of micro grip in there near the stem and very short stem and if they come out with different barrel, uh, different shell designs, then that's great. But it um, looks as though it will always be a straight barrel, unless they can make these with different shapes as well. But I'll just let you have a close look. It's got a 27mm silver point, it's got a tapered nose of 7.5mm and then you've got a thin cut ring grip which is 12.6mm wide, quite deeply grooved and the thickness of that is 6.9mm which is a little thicker than the aluminium sleeve and it's 54.8mm uh, long the tungsten insert and then you go on to the green alloy sleeve it starts with a smooth section of 5.9 millimeters, then a small groove of 0.8, then a band with the circles cut in of 2.2, then you've got thin cut ring grip of 8.6 millimeters, another band with the circles of 2.2 millimeters, then more of the thin cut ring grip of 8.6 millimeters width, and then a smooth section for 9 millimeters, and then a thin groove of 0.8 the sleeve is 6.8 millimeters wide and then at the end you've got a smooth section of 2.8 and near the micro grip it ends about 61 millimeters and then the stem itself is 30 millimeters I'm just going to wear the tungsten bodies and then I'll wear the full setup with one dart so that is 20.02 grams twenty point zero five and twenty point zero two and the full setup is 23.34 grams and it did say that the 23 gram on the uh, site is for the full setup as this is quite a unique one 
this is just the balance point of the inserts and this is the balance point with the full setup smooth through the air. Flying quite nice actually. Um, gonna try the middle now. So my thumb is kind of in between the two sets of holes. Q-Soul Armour, 23 gram darts, um, curious that because of the uh, design obviously, um, as a front gripper it's actually very nicely balanced and was very smooth through the air for me, um, I did notice sometimes though that the barrel was kind of getting a little bit loose and I suspected that could be a problem, um, there may be a way around that. Maybe you could get a little rubber o-ring on there, make it tighter. If that wasn't coming loose, um, I think I'd probably be using them more, but uh, just got a little bit annoying sometimes. Um, it was less of a problem when I was gripping it from the middle. I think it's because of the way I grip it. I think as I'm throwing it, I kind of like turn it a little bit, but uh, even so, it could be an issue for other people as well, but I would say that was really the only problem. Um, other than that, it actually flew very nice from the uh, front and from the middle. 
Um, from the rear, wasn't very good for me because it was just too far. But I can't, I can't see any reason why it shouldn't work for natural rear grippers. But um, I was getting the hang of it from the middle. It's hard to say who would buy a dart like this then, because it's kind of a, like a novelty. Um, I'm not sure whether serious darts players would would really go for it. But um, like I said, it, it does fly very smooth, and it could be because of the or one one stem and shaft kind of design. But uh, I haven't encountered a Robin Hood yet, so I don't really know what's going to happen when when that happens. If it breaks, then it it could be a little bit too much of an expense to have to replace the shells all the time. But for something that's unique and uh, really nice looking, I think it's a really awesome looking setup. Um, it may appeal to some people, but I can't really see it being like a mass appeal, not for people who are like seriously into the darts, but um, you know, it might be worth something to have a look at. It's quite a fun dart to play with. But like I say, there's just that slight problem of the shell coming loose. But I think you could probably sort that out. I have another idea. I may mean, just stick some little Teflon tape around the thread. And that will probably keep it tight. But other than that, nice idea. And looks really cool. But um, one that's probably a little bit too unique for most people. So that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching.